Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you at this time? So let's jump right in for Taurus. For Taurus. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? What does Taurus need to know regarding this person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Taurus? Let's start with how they view you or this connection, Taurus. How does this person view Taurus or this connection spirit? How does this person view Taurus or this connection with Taurus? I got three. Three of Wands, Eight of Swords, and Death, Scorpio Energy. <coughs> Excuse me. So right away I'm thinking that someone's scared of what's coming or what could happen. Because death is here. So there's an ending that may have already happened or is about to happen according to this person. This person I feel is like this is their worst fears. And Taurus, this is you or this is the person that you're dealing with. This could also be somebody that's waiting for change, but at the same time is a bit scared that change is coming, right? It's a bit bittersweet. Like something's ending or changing for you. And that's great because there's opportunities for something different, but that's also scary, right? Let's get some more insight here. <clears throat> but this is how they view you or the connection. So I feel this is your person that is a bit scared of what's ahead or a bit scared about an ending. Let's see. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I feel like this is someone wondering if they're going to have a happy ending here. Something with family as well. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy um, with the Knight of Cups. So I'm getting that this is someone that maybe you already had an ending with Sagittarius, not Sagittarius, Taurus, <laughs> Temperance and Sagittarius, Scorpio energy and Sagittarius energy here. I feel like this could be somebody that you already had an ending with Taurus and um, maybe they're thinking about resolving this issue. Maybe they're like, I need to fix this before it's too late or I need to fix this problem because the Knight of Cups is here at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. What are they feeling when it comes to Taurus spirit? What is this person thinking or feeling? Oh yeah, three of swords, ace of cups, and the three of pentacles. They're feeling like they still love you Taurus, despite the difficulty, then they wanna work things out. Um, this is somebody that's thinking about how to fix, how to rebuild. I feel also that they're very hurt by whatever has happened. Um, or they've hurt you throughout this process. And I think it, by hurting you, they're hurting themselves. And they know that. What is the overall energy for this individual? What is the overall energy for this individual? Coming together, reunion, destiny, meeting. Destiny has brought you together. I feel like that's what this person wants more than anything. I want to come together with Taurus. I want us to have... A meeting of some sort. I want us to reconcile. What are their intentions towards Taurus? Spirit, what are this person's genuine intentions? Well, I think that was the Knight of Pentacles. What is this person's general genuine intentions? If I could speak, I can't talk today. What are this person's genuine intentions towards Taurus? Yeah, justice, making things right, Libra energy, doing the right thing, doing what's fair, what's balanced. Yeah, six of pentacles. This is about making something right, making this, this, this is like um, a goal for your person with the magician here and the six of pentacles. Like I need to work on things with Taurus. There's the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they're hoping a message will do it.
what are this person's intentions towards Taurus or anything else that we need to know about their overall energy when it comes to Taurus? Spirit, what do we need to know about this individual? Carriage, arrival, movement, travel. This person could be wanting to come see you, come visit you to talk things out, Taurus. Magic wand, transformation, hope, solution, exactly. It's this magician energy. This is someone that wants to kind of wave a magic wand and resolve something. They want to come together with you. They want to make a move towards you. It's very clear energy here. Tell me more about this magician, because now I'm curious. Tell me about this magician energy. What do we need to know about this magician energy? I want to know they're going to act on it. There's the Hierophant. There you are, Taurus. Yeah, this person with the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, this person desperately wants to talk. Um, they feel like a, a conversation can fix this. Genuinely, this person feels like if I just talk to Taurus, um, that's going to be the way that I resolve this issue, the way that I have this balance once again, harmony once again with Taurus. And I could have my family back or I could have a happy ending with Taurus. That would be great. But this person, you know, they might be acting like, hey, you know, they're very brave. They got this, but really they're scared. This person's terrified because it's like they see the writing on the wall. That's kind of what I got with this three of wands. Like they see the writing on the wall here. And they don't know how it's going to end up, Seven of Cups. They're just hoping that their choice is the right one. That their choice is the choice that ends up fixing this. What do they wish they could tell Taurus at this time? Spirit, what do they wish they could tell Taurus at this time? What do they wish they could tell Taurus? The High Priestess? Okay, so I feel like this person... Hmm. What do they wish they could tell Taurus at this time? What do they have to tell you? Yeah, they've, um, whatever they have to tell you, Taurus, they haven't been able to say to you before. I feel like they've been very careful what they say to you. Very guarded about their true feelings, guarded about maybe showing weakness. Sorry, I'm recovering from a cold. <laughs> um, and I feel like that's kind of the issue here is that your person is, for the Taurus that I'm resonating for here, that for the Taurus that this story is for, um, this is someone that I feel acts like, I don't know, they wear a very professional mask is kind of what I want to say. Um, they're very careful about how they present themselves. This person needs to appear strong and needs to appear like they're, I don't want to say like unbothered, but almost like they're not affected emotionally by, by the things that happen. But I feel like they cannot be that person in this situation. This is someone that's been very comfortable uh, guarding themselves and very careful about what they say, but I don't think that that's what needs to... It's, it's not helping their situation being this type of person. And I think they know that because since they're so desperate for a new beginning, here's the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Wands behind that. So clearly some sort of action they want to take. Um, it's almost like they, they're so cons they, were, they were so concerned with appearing a certain way that they have lost in the end or they're afraid they're going to lose something. Um, it's almost like they're thinking, I, I have to do something different because I see the writing on the wall, right? I have to change tactics. I have to maybe appear a certain way. There's the King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn en energy here. It's almost like they wanna tell you that, um, I don't know. It's like they wanna show up as a very mature energy. I can't nail this down. Let's clarify that King of Pentacles. It's not coming clearly to me, but it's almost like I can feel that this is someone who, when they show up, they want to be like a knight in shining armor. 
Taurus, you can trust me. I got this. Yeah, Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So this is exactly what this person is doing. It's almost like they don't want to be the emotional person. They don't want to be the one that admits that they care for you or admits that they were wrong or admits that they love you. But that's exactly what they have to do. Because I feel like you, <laughs> in order to reunite with you, that's, how, that's what needs to happen. This person needs to change tactics. They need to... They need to stop locking their emotions. I'm also getting that some of you, you might love this person, Taurus, but that's not enough for you. It's not enough that you love this person. You know, you will block this person from your life if you need to, despite how you feel. What does this person want to tell Taurus? What do they want to tell Taurus at this time? What do they wish they could tell Taurus at this time? What do they wish they could tell Taurus? Please wait for me just a little bit longer, okay? What do they wish they could tell Taurus at this time? And if you're interested in any of these decks, Oracle decks that I'm using, they're available on my Etsy shop because they're decks that I've designed. And I dream of a future with you. Yeah, I'm going through a hard time at the bottom of the deck. So this person, while they're apart from you or while they see this writing on the wall, it's almost like they, they're they still hoping for an, uh, an, a result here where there's a future with you and them and a family and a happy ending like this energy right here, 10 of cups. I dream of a future with you where I have this. However, I don't understand what this delay is all about because this person, again, it's almost like this person, they want to appear like they're a magician. They want to appear like they're a knight of wands, right? But when it comes time to act, now you're kind of second guessing yourself, this three of wands. I think this person knows that they have to play this very carefully. That's all I, that's like the energy that I'm getting. They have to be a king of pentacles. They have to be slow and steady. They have to be on their A game. And they will be talking to you, this person. They will be talking to you. That's the only way. Yeah, buried feelings is right behind this. They've buried their feelings. That's the problem. They've buried their feelings, they're going through a hard time, and they probably didn't even admit this to you. They don't want to admit that they're destroyed, that they're they're like this three of swords. You know, they don't want to admit that. That they still love you, right? Like this is hard for them to admit. And let me know if this is resonating in the comments, Taurus. But I feel like this is this energy is very clear, even though it's all over the place. So that's what I have for you currently about this person, this particular person that's resonating. Um, that is you're dealing with or thinking about right now. I feel like they see the writing on the wall and they want to do something about it. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully I'll see you on another reading very soon. Take care.